Cornish pasties. We've noticed something rather unusual. Wow. Cornish pasties have a protected European status, which normally means the ingredients have to be crystal clear. But on the official Cornish Pasty Association website, there's some confusion. Beef, potato, onion, and Swede brackets turnip? So which is it? And why the confusion? Do you know what this vegetable is? Turnip. Swede. Well, that's what I guess and say, a turnip. <laughs> what is this vegetable? Swede. Turnip. Turnip. We put in a pasty. No idea. Some Man people use them out. instead of pumpkins, don't they? Beetroots. <laughs> Swede. Clear as mud, then. It seems these vegetables are called both turnips and swedes, depending on who you ask and where they're from. To get to the root of this conundrum, I'm in Devon to meet farmer John Pritchard. Hi, John. Hi, Kate. How are you? Now, John, the nation is confused. There is a vegetable out there that goes by two names. I need to clear it up once and for all. We can do that. Are you sure? Absolutely. OK, what are you growing in there? Would you like to come and see? Let's do it. Oh, OK. Better view up here. <laughs> what are we going to harvest? We're going to harvest sweet. Sweet? Sweet. From John's 24 acres of Swede fields, he supplies supermarkets across the country. Look at that. OK, John, what is this vegetable? That is a sweet. What are the defining characteristics of a turnip? A turnip? Well, I brought one along. He's white at the bottom and purple at the top. So if that's a sweet, which one is it in the Cornish pasty? And where has all the confusion come from? Pasty oracle Nina Philp is a third-generation pasty maker, so she should have the answer. Hi, Hello. Nina. Yes. Kate. Come on in. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. You too. Nina's team produce up to 4,000 pasties every day. First, in goes potato, onion and our mystery veg. So one cup in every single pasty? Yeah. It's a lot of veg in a pasty, it isn't is, it? Yeah, it has to be at least 25%. 25%? Yeah. <laughs> Makes me want to try one even more. We will, we will. The first crimping. Crimping? <laughs> OK. Now, I've heard that this is really difficult to do. Time to bring in the experts. Come on in, Mary. Oh, how nice you are. Darling, I've heard that you are Queen Crimper. I wouldn't have thought so. <laughs> You're the pro. You've been doing it the longest. Well, I know I have. Mm. How long is that? Oh, 47 years. <gasps> 47 years. Oh, my goodness. Right. What do you have to do, Mary? Keep in all the ingredients. Don't keep nothing behind. Don't leave nothing behind. <laughs> keep squeezing. You can't hurt the pastry. They don't feel it. <laughs> <laughs> that does not look... Great, but... Well, but it's very good for effort, first time. <laughs> Having impressed the ladies with my not-so-perfectly crimp pasty, maybe now they'll tell me the answer to my veg question. This is where the magic happens. So is this where all your veg is prepped? Yes, all of it, yes. OK, now, I recognise one of those. <laughs> what do you call it? It's a sweet. It is. <laughs> so why do Cornish pasties, if you look at the ingredients on the packet, it says sweet, but then in brackets, turnip. Some people call this a turnip. It shouldn't be. It's a sweet, but there is a lot of confusion. So the problem at the heart of the matter is the fact that this vegetable is a sweet, but is sometimes called a turnip. Yes. Well, that's the southern point of view. The confusion's all down to geography, with people in the south calling it a swede, while northerners tend to call it a turnip. So that is your chopped swede, onion, potato, ready to go into the pasty. It is. And from the aroma, I'd say it's taste time. Oh, look at those. <laughs> Finally, the moment I've been waiting for. <laughs> that there is a little bit of food heaven, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It is. That is delicious. <laughs> yeah.